Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to ASI Kerala State Chapter Musings, Episode 11. I would request uh, Professor CJ and our uh, beloved chairman to take over. Okay, very good evening to all. First of all, thank you, Srinivasa, for accepting our invitation. Before we go to the proceedings, we have lost our Professor Abdul Kalam. He is from Trivandrum. And uh, so to pay homage, we'll observe one minute silence and after that we, we can continue. Thank you. And uh, we have two classmates of Abdul Kalam sir today, Professor Dayanada Baba and Professor R. Krishnan. I request Baba sir to say a few words. Uh, Abdul Kalam was my UG as well as uh, PG classmate. We did almost also together. And I think we became very close. We were uh, hostel mates as well as maybe the same floor, second hostel, Trivandrum Medical College. And then we used to uh, have many activities like card plays, so many things during our uh, UG days. Uh, he was a very simple man without any sophistication and a man with humility. And of course, he was uh, with uh, good knowledge and he was a good surgeon. He, he, before joining surgery, he was in anatomy for some time in Trivandrum Medical College. Then he joined surgery. Then he became assistant professor. And then for, I think, more than two or three years, he was in surgical gastro with Professor Rajan. And he learned most of the uh, gastro surgery from Professor Rajan sir. And of course, uh, we used to have communication together. He developed a renal cell carcinoma and it was diagnosed at a very late stage with meds. And then he underwent a laparoscopic nephrectomy. And then, of course, he was taking a chemo as well as some targeted therapy. I went and saw him in his house at Muttada Trivandrum, uh, maybe about six or eight months back. And he was. Uh, quite stable and afterwards uh, maybe three or four weeks before he underwent cataract surgery also. I met his wife uh, when he was again in CCU of uh, Cosmopolitan Hospital and he was slowly deteriorating and finally he succumbed him uh, on uh, thing Saturday early morning. So uh, I lost a real good friend very good friend of mine, very simple man, very humble man, and he was a very good teacher and a good surgeon. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Krishan, sir, would you like to say a few words? I, I just uh, say that he was a, a good friend and a very fine person, very, uh, very humble and self-effacing. And, uh, and in hostel, we were in the same hostel together. Uh, and uh, a very good friend. It's a personal loss. That's all I have to say. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Shafiq? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. 
Welcome everyone to episode 11 of Surgical Musings brought to you by ASI Kerala chapter. Uh, back in 2015 August, the Times of India wrote thus about our speaker for today. Quote unquote, be it a scalpel or a camera, he handles both with precision. When, when he is not found in the operation theater, he can be found in the jungles of Bandipur pursuing his passion. The write-up was titled, A Surgeon's Heart Beats for Wildlife Photography. And uh, I hope with all of us who are assembled here to find out in the next hour or so, uh, why that is so. I invite our chairman, uh, Dr. Sejan sir, to formally introduce the speaker. Over yes. to you, sir. Thank you, Shafiq. So today we are fortunate to have Professor Srinivas Pai a passionate photographer, close to surgery. And we know that uh, photography is a versatile medium that allows us to express ourselves in a countless ways. Actually, we can capture details of nature, candid moments of human life. And as surgeons, we take a lot of photographs, clinical photographs, which are useful uh, for the coming generation. That is, we use all these photographs and videos for teaching the students. And another thing is that everybody is having camera and the point shoot cameras are being very common now. And I think most of the DSLR and SLR cameras of all, all of us are lying in the shelf and not being used uh, routinely because we have the point shoot camera where we can uh, photograph very easily. And today uh, we have uh, Professor Rao, Professor of Medicine from Amrita, and uh, my friend Manoj Ramavadia, who is a pilot, listening to this, and Dr. Puneet Dar. And I think there are many students of Dr. Srinivas also in this gathering. I welcome all of you to this meeting. And to introduce Dr. Srinivas Pai, he was born in Udupi, and his, he had his early education in Sultanate of Oman, exactly at Muscat and had his undergraduate and postgraduate training at Kasturva Medical College, Manipal. Currently, he is the head of the Department of Surgery at Sri Dharmasthala Manchanadeshwara University of Medical Sciences, Darwad. And his interests are in colorectal and pancreatic surgery. And he's a photographer from childhood. And as Shafiq mentioned, he a lot of photographs appeared in newspapers and photography magazines. So he's the right person, a surgeon from our crowd to talk on photography. And uh, I invite Professor Srinivas Pai to deliver his talk. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, coming to this ASI forum. Uh, at the outset, thank you for having me. And uh, I am with uh, a lot of familiar faces from my Manipal days. I think some of you, uh, Dhananand Babu, sir, I keep meeting once in a while. When, uh, whereas Dr. Sri Jayan and uh, some of the other faces from Manipal days, I, when they used to visit, I used to come to Calicut uh, Medical College, where we used to come as examiner. I used to come as examiner. I know them from then. So I'll just share my screen. And uh, one minute. Can go to the slideshow? Yeah, yeah. Can, can the slides be seen? Not yet. No? No. Uh, I'm seeing them on my uh, screen here. Uh, sir, it has gone on to Zoom US. Okay, now, now. Now, let's see. Huh? Yeah. Now, okay? Yes. So, uh, once again, uh, a very good evening to all the members of the uh, Kerala uh, uh, state chapter of the Associations of Surgeons of India. And uh, thank you for having me over here. And uh, uh, when uh, Dr. Srijayan, Professor Srijayan approached me, so I said, can you talk on something? So I knew that it was for photography. I somehow I knew that. I gave him four, three or four choices that, that he said photography will do. So I titled it Photography, a Timeless Passion. Means uh, we don't have much time as surgeons. 
what i meant is the uh, uh, the hobby of photography is a timeless passion it takes a lot of time but uh, concept it itself is uh, timeless general topic yeah musing sir music so i am a family physician who can operate means uh, because of uh, the insurance issues and other things i have to reinvent myself now as a family uh, physician who can operate i am also a photographer i do write poetry i am a writer uh, naturalist theater theater artist so jokingly i said theater artist means what both in the theater what surgery theater as well as the actual theater both so this uh, b in my name is balambattu okay if you notice clearly it's uh, perla village manjeshwara taluk kasargod district kerala so i am addressing uh, surgeons from my state only actually <laughs> from technically my native place okay and my ancestors uh, went there in uh, 500 years ago and there's a book written about them it's on the site sapna saraswat you can buy it on amazon so Uh, i work in the department of surgery uh, sdm college of medical sciences uh, we used to be a compromise now we are a choice for ms general surgery we used to be a compromise in the uh, uh, when choosing the ms seat but somehow we have grown from a compromise to a choice so why somebody somebody asked me why uh, so many uh, hobbies i am audible right Yes, yeah, audible. Audible. yeah, yeah. So somebody asked me, "Why you have so many hobbies? How you are managing all this?" I said, "You only live once. That's it. There's only one life. Uh, I don't believe in the afterlife and that uh, rebirth and other things. You, because I don't, I've not seen it. You only live once. So you had to make it count. You had to make yourself worthy of this life. So if you have, doesn't matter how many hobbies or passions you have, you try to do all of them. There's enough time, you know." and i always say that one uh, uh, in life has to have three hobbies one definitely there to earn money one must make that one's hobby to earn adequate money for oneself mainly for their family and to pursue the other hobbies one for the body uh, without uh, see so one for the money the one to earn money we are all having we are surgeons and we have to work and earn that money for ourselves there's nothing wrong in it one for the body so we must keep oneself fit in order to enjoy what we earn and very important one is one for the soul to keep the soul in order to have the other two intact the soul also must be nourished now the hobby nourishes the soul a lot of people my teacher dr rajgopal chennai everybody is familiar with him is singing is his hobby and playing chess some people write poetry some people write creatively some people do theater some people paint and some people do photography so all these are hobbies for the soul now why uh, did i choose photography so i have the saying into the forest i go to lose my mind and find my soul so the reason i chose uh, this is photography is a is an escape and it also helps me because it's a visual media it also helps me express my creativity painting uh, takes a long time i do paint i used to paint also but it takes such a long time photography is instant gratification in today's world it's a instant gratification it's a very um, uh, powerful visual media and uh, the other hobby that i had while i viewing a naturalism naturalist uh, natural studies i merged the two the photography and the uh, uh following my uh, uh following the wild animals i merged the two so that they become one passion so why i chose photography why i chose photography is it is painting with light the word photography is a portmanteau means a combination of two words photo meaning light and graphy meaning painting so it literally means to paint with light to paint with light so it's painting with light the only difference between painting and photography is painting the canvas is empty and then we fill everything else using our imagination or we have a model to look at or a landscape to look at in photography the elements are already arranged we only have to compose and the canvas is already full we only have to compose but that's not that easy like a painting 
another reason i took up is it taught me a imp very important uh, trait what is required for the surgeon what is required for a person no doubt about it but if the person is a surgeon that trait of patience is very very important when doing surgery all of the senior surgeons here will agree that the number one trait what a surgeon needs is the patience so this hobby teaches us patience the uh, photo wildlife photography and photography in general teaches us the art of patience we develop patience it uh, will extrapolate into our surgical practice <clears throat> when we photograph when we wait for the animal or the bird to come it's a introspect we have time to introspect what could have been what could i have done better could i have done that it's not correct to think about cases when when you are in your uh, hobby area but sometimes it does come and that, that gives us time to introspect it's a sort of meditation and it calms the mind it calms the mind it helps you to reflect what could have been how you could have done things better and then you uh, move on to the next day i found that going into the uh, uh, wild uh, wildlife uh, photography for a couple of days is like being one year away from work literally if somebody tries that you just uh, somebody goes to, without the cell phone because most of these sanctuaries do not have internet do not have a mobile phone even so you are not disturbed at all you are not disturbed at all i pick the sanctuaries where the mobile phone doesn't reach sometimes sometimes it backfires but uh, most of the times the mind gets uh, relaxed remember one thing there is a difference between an image and a photograph uh, what one clicks just goes on clicking what one ca calls as a shutter bug that is not photography photography means capturing an image see photography does not mean capturing everything that comes in your way just keep on shooting that is a shutter bug do not capture all and sundry passionate photographers they do not make images they, they they do not make photographs they make images they do not take photographs they make images and image is a photograph that tells a story now uh, this image this is an image for an ordinary viewer it looks like a photograph just a, a doctor with a apron in front of a building the reason i took this is this is a neurosurgeon right now he is a neurosurgeon there in ms ramaya i think practicing neurosurgeon dr hegde and uh, i took it when he was an intern because he uh, juxtapositioned himself uh, behind his uh, college so this depicts for me uh, this is a, a bright and budding uh, to be doctor future i didn't know at that time and i thought this will make a memorable uh, memory for it will be a memory for him with the college in the background and him in the front so this is for me is an image it tells a story now if i now if somebody correlates this to what happened to him became a neurosurgeon then it becomes a very good story to tell now this all of us this uh, is a photograph that depicts all of us this is dr rajekar mohan people who most of us will be knowing him so uh, uh, when i came to operate at uh, late in the night at 2 am i saw raja sleeping there he had uh, just just written one line for his uh, ot notes and he had fallen asleep because he was i think operating the full day so this story is what it told me that raja had operated he was tired so it just took his image i don't think he even knows this uh, image is there so this if the photograph doesn't tell a story it is not an image see it may tell different things to different uh, people uh, interpretation is different to different viewers it's a matter of uh, perception but to me it uh, showed this the subtle art of arranging elements what are the components of a photograph converts a photograph which is science into an image which is art and this art is called as composition see why this image this is a very senior surgeon and uh, if you know the background so he had bought a sofa from the uh, from a furniture company and he had specific orders and uh, they said that we have delivered your sofa as per as your requirements but he took a compass he bought a compass box he took a calculator it the, we can see the photograph of the sofa also there he measured it and as a uh, if you zoom in little you can see the diagram also he told the company see i ordered like this this is the scale but you didn't deliver so you have to be sued by me now so they took back whatever they made and so i we were making fun of him but actually i took his photo because it tells an excellent story of resilience he never gave up 
most of us would have adjusted with the sofa so that photo, that is a story for me so this photograph is converted into an image of uh, the senior professor never giving up uh, against the mnc humor humor is excellent arrangement you know this actually is uh, gujarat in ahmedabad so i was walking back to my hotel and then i from a distance i noticed this there was a coffee day which i wanted to drink coffee and then i looked above there's a building behind it which uh, says the obvious but it looks as if the uh, what is written the swaroop sex cure a lot can happen over coffee it uh, superimposed so that was an that was a humorous image for me so i arranged it so not a, what uh, professor srijan said that everybody owns a camera and uh, it's not just enough to own a camera everyone can own a camera if you want to do photography you must appreciate the art and composition and deliberately endeavor to create an image an image that documents life be it be humor be it be seriousness whatever story you want to tell light is very important in a photograph light is the key factor for a successful image what what angle the light falls it determines the brightness and darkness the tone mood atmosphere is very important that we control the light and manipulate it it's actually a manipulation of light basically because uh, you don't need color see the black and white uh, of a forest with the uh, tindal effect with the monkey sitting on it you can see the monkey there so that depicts uh, the beauty of our forest so this is what i've tried to uh, just using light there's no color here they say glass is good not they say i say glass is good but light is god glass means the camera lens the lens is made of various elements of glass but the light how you arrange the light how you place the subject is the god of the photograph timing is everything we must be able to anticipate just like in life timing is everything in photography also timing is everything that timing is called as a decisive moment that decisive moment is an important moment within the constant flow of life and we capture it in the photograph in a fraction of a second that is called the decisive moment for example if the bird was just sitting there it wouldn't have made any image it's a ordinary bird a, uh, i think it's a uh, 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 a white oriental uh, i forgot the bird buzzard so the buzzard is jumping at the right moment i have clicked it it was sitting there i didn't click any image waited for it to jump and so that became a uh, image from a just a ordinary bird because we don't shoot for biology textbook remember we we shoot for images we shoot for if we are shooting for a biology textbook we could just shoot anything we wanted let's go to the zoo shoot it this one more uh, image these are actually wild tigers this is not a zoo so i waited 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 and uh, suddenly the uh, uh, i knew that the tigers will play with each other so i waited for the right moment and i was lucky and uh, they are they are fight in real life also later but the childhood part of it is playing in the water tigers love the water everybody knows that and these uh, cubs like to fight with each other it's a practice for what's going to come in their future pretty soon another year or so the same tiger uh, cubs will fight each other to death for the territory this is the practice so this is the story which i to, uh, uh, wanted to depict in this image so again timing is everything if the tiger was just taken just like that it would be any uh, it just be a tiger's image this uh, tiger walking into the grass gives it some sort of mysterious feel that uh, we ran into that we were going through the grass and we ran into a tiger imagine a person in going in the field and he find something like this you know he he will run for his life or maybe the tiger will get him so if i just shot it in the open it wouldn't have meant anything so the fact that it came at a particular angle with the mystery of the uh, high grass in it gives a uh, very nice feel about it this belongs now to some company travel company which bought it from me for some money color now the third aspect of our uh, uh, image is color color affects the, everything from composition to visual appeal remember black and white is also color okay but what i mean is the other colors so they they are the ones that draw attention just like beauty draws attention to the eye say similar color plays a similar role in a photograph 
So this is the various uh, colors. This image was shot uh, day before yesterday. Not for this show, but I had it there. But has happened to get it. The bee with the flower. Various bees with the flower. Now coming to the equipment. Equipment. See, the best equipment is with you. God has given you two of them, not one. The human eye and the human, uh, how it's arranged, the cornea and the uh, aqueous humor and the vitreous humor, the lens in that order, retina, rods and cones, they have the best understanding of light and color. All you need is to take any camera which is in your hand, maybe a mobile phone, maybe a DSLR, and just compose it properly with the light and with the uh, decisive movement, compose the elements, and you have an image. You have an image. The best images are not taken because you see them with your eyes. The best images are not taken. Suppose you have a, happen to have a camera in the form of a mobile phone, then your eyes do the work. And nothing can match the human eye. Nothing can match the human eye. Science, 21st century, artificial intelligence, so many sensors. We still have to edit our images to make it look uh, like the human eye. So nowadays, what has happened? The scientists have put the camera into the smartphone. The sensors are so good that the smartphones are, and the smartphones are so good, all you have to do is obey the rules of photography. Follow the basic rules of timing, composition, and uh, uh, the light, and understand the color, and then you have uh, beautiful images. Any genre of photography, from portraiture to landscape, can be taken by the mobile phone. Most of us, why, what we take, uh, I print my photographs, but some of them, and make large prints of it, and uh, gift it, and put it everywhere. Since most of us are posting on social media, the smart and we are not printing our images, our smartphones are enough. The images taken by a smartphone serve this purpose. There's no need for expensive gear. But if you're doing wildlife, that is one genre, bird and wildlife, or macro, the insects, then you'll have to invest a little more. You have to take a DSLR. Uh, uh, I'm not saying the smartphone won't do it, but might not. you might not be able to print that images. So my gear is... Uh, for some reason, it is not printed there. So what I always advise to people when they say, what do I buy? What do I buy? So I say, uh, whatever camera you have is the best one. You should use it. That's all. You should not, like uh, somebody said, put it in your cupboard and let it gather dust. You should take it out and use it. The, the worst thing you can do is uh, buy a camera and put it in the cupboard, thinking that you'll use it when the time comes. You're actually wasted the money because that uh, camera will gather dust enter the sensor in place like Kerala, where, uh, where, and, uh, where I uh, was earlier, we have to invest into equ expensive equipment to store it. The humidifier is guaranteed to get fungus in. So when we buy second hand, we say, Kerala, no, no, we don't want. Because it will be full of fungus. Once you put it in the cupboard in that uh, uh, climate, definitely uh, there will be a fungus. Any visit to Tatekad or uh, anywhere in uh, any of the places in Kerala, Fungus is, definite chance of fungus is there. So we're very scared when we take our expensive gear there. I shoot with high-end equipment because I know how to use it. People who are beginners should invest in a little uh, uh, budgeted ones. Because once you come to know what you are going to pursue, then you invest in that particular equipment. So what I advise is do not get gas. Gas, gear acquisition syndrome. A lot of people have this gas. They keep on buying because they say, which is the best camera? Which is the, the best camera need not be the most expensive camera. Even the cheapest camera is very good if you know how to use it. The mobile phones, uh, the Apple and Vivo, they're much cheaper than the iPhone. They have some of the best cameras. They serve our purpose. So do not get gas. Now, uh, people are listening in or uh, uh, may listen in. They may want to pursue this photography as a hobby or a whatever, passion or whatever. So there's some tips. Capture an image. Do not just photograph. Remember that, try to tell a story. Uh, photograph that tells a story is the uh, objective of a photography. Always anticipate the decisive moment where you balance the photograph. And remember, just like surgery, patience is a virtue of which is rewarded in photography. Just like a surgeon is patient. See, uh, so one more thing is, the steadiness of the hands is also very important in photography, just like in surgery. So we practice a lot, lot of uh, uh, traits, common traits are there. So some of my uh, photographs here, 
Uh, I hope all of them have come. So, this is uh, a mother's, uh, the cubs love towards the mother. Now, if I tell you the story now, after four years, this very tiger, which is a cub, has chased the mother away now. The, so much love in this photograph, when the cub was six months old and the mother was uh, hunting for it, and uh, this cub was uh, drinking the mother's milk, the same tiger has chased away the mother. So, this is, this, for three years, the love between a cub and its mother is uh, divine. But after three years, fighting starts. Not so in elephants. Elephants are always together, unlike tigers. This is uh, uh, the cub, the uh, calf, two calves. This is a calf of the previous uh, litter, probably of the some other elephant. Both were trying to breastfeed this mother and competing with each other. The small one is so jealous, it pushed the, the bigger, uh, cub, uh, bigger uh, elephant calf away. So this depicts an elephant uh, family showing together, uh, this, whatever the age, the elephants always stick together. And elephants love to dust. So this was a, a, a female elephant on the left side. And this is a calf and an elephant. Again, I will come to another photograph to tell the story of this. Uh, this is Humpy. Where I stay, Humpy is just two hours away. Uh, people who come to Darwad usually tend to visit Humpy. It has got beautiful uh, sculptures. This is Ugra Narsimha. Uh, because of my short temper, the, the nurses have uh, in Manipal have nicknamed me this. So that's why I thought I'll put one self. I don't like selfies, so I thought I'll put a caricature of myself. So again, this is an angry tiger, doesn't show much. This is an elephant uh, which was uh, posted in Better Photography magazine. It actually won the award in Better Photography magazine. It was printed sometime back, about four or five years back. My photographs have appeared in for Better Photography, in Smart Photography, or in Deccan Herald, Times of India, and uh, some of the local uh, Canada also. Uh, this is an image of a tiger drinking water with its reflection. Uh, technically, it was a very difficult image to take because there was a lot of traffic on that day. So, this is just one image I have when the tiger perfectly it, uh, uh, made a reflection. Uh, tigers love water. So, this is a tiger after it hunted, uh, uh, if it had hunted a deer. If you zoom in, you can see blood on its nose. It, it had entered the water and re relaxing in the water. You can see the water is so clean that you can see the paws of the tiger in the water. Now, this is one of my favorite images where uh, what had happened is this uh, small calf was going through the legs of the elephant. So, it depicts the motherhood, actually. How the mother is uh, protecting its young. That's the story. The uh, Elephants are my favorite subject, more than tigers. A lot of people love to see the tiger images, but I love to see the elephant images. And now, uh, for some reason, I don't have it. I'll just... Uh, Picture cannot be displayed. I will, just a minute, I will get that image out from. Uh, my screen is shared, no? Screen is shared, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, it is shared. Uh, a little bit of, uh, I need a little bit, two minutes. Because I don't know why that image didn't come. That's the last uh, of the images. Hello. Yeah, just a minute, sir. Yeah. Yep. So, now, can you see this uh, image on my screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Now, uh, this is one of my favorites. Okay. Now, uh, the reason is uh, uh, to a casual person, it's just uh, five elephants in this. Uh, they are going in a line. Okay. It's not that, uh, uh, not that simple as we think. This image depicts us surgery, surgery chiefs. Surgery teachers or teachers or parents. 
the uh, the lead elephant the lead elephant is the guide the surgical teacher or the mentor or the parent or any teacher not only so we have a physician also here it can be any teacher of any field and the others are all followers the uh, line along which it is leading is the uh, straight line of life and the stones are the obstacles the water is the reward the uh, reward can be money can be skill can be fame whatever they want the role of the lead elephant the teacher is to take the small elephants along the straight path the role of the small elephant is to uh, reach the water and utilize it whichever way it wants so it depicts basically the role of the uh, uh, of the mentor that is what i thought in the image and the other things is the magnanimity of the forest the elephant is the largest uh, terrestrial animal in india the uh, indian elephant and look at the forest it's so big so uh, so uh, so much bigger than the uh, elephant it depicts that the forests of india are so huge that they uh, nurture and big animal like the elephant also in which it can survive the other thing is the river the river is the life of the forest so i took out four meanings out of one image and i also arranged it in a, uh, a photograph technically it also it's a lot of uh, uh, points so with that i uh, conclude and i thank the uh, association for having me can i stop sharing the screen now so uh, thank you uh, i hope thank you yeah i hope what you all needed i talked because i didn't know exactly what no it's what you deliver sir it's what you choose to deliver yep. anyway it was delicious i will say and uh, uh, i would say i would disagree with what the uh, times have written it's not just your heart your whole body resonates with uh, this passion of yours uh, i am shafiq sir and uh, to start off uh, i have a few queries yeah. for you you would like to know your comments a uh, first question are you an ekalavya with regards to this passion or do you, did you have a guru ekalavya unlike surgery where i had a definite guru definitely i had my gurus in surgery some of most of you know them who they are anand rao you all know all of them anand rao mg shanai and uh, rajgopal shanai uh, santosh pai all of you know them so unlike uh, uh, surgery uh, photography is ekalavya okay well self taught i started with a minolta camera the point and shoot okay and then uh, i sort of uh, because i went to art school because i went to a uh, good school uh, schooling plays a very important role now i am knowing you know uh, there were art classes now i wondered this to teach composition composition this to hit uh, there was a sadistic art teacher who used to hit us with a scale if you don't compose it properly we used to curse him now i know why, i mean that is not the right way of teaching uh, people also but we learnt it that one so i applied it to photography so that came naturally uh self taught self taught and are you mentoring somebody in this field right now ah uh, there are many people who come up to me and uh, in my uh, university we have a photography club where we uh, where people uh, take classes and uh, we conduct classes on a regular basis because of the covid we got jettison uh, we didn't restart again so we have to probably probably we have to we are too busy too many this uh, cbme curriculum has taken a lot of time from us the mbbs people so we are do we do mentor i do take uh, people on uh, when i go on trips i go alone okay but sometimes uh, people want to join me and uh, learn so, um, so i uh, do take people along so mentoring them on the if i want to go for a break i go alone because then the photographs are same no like that yeah. i'm with selfish okay <laughs> so i do i don't want the uh, my images somebody else that competitiveness is that so but somebody wants to mentor then i don't photograph i uh, do not uh, photograph i take them along they photograph sir uh, seeing through your photographs and also while you were searching for that photo i noticed that you have kept tigers as a separate folder from animals so what can you tell us about your closest encounter with the tiger 
and oh, have uh, been any life threatening uh, situations uh, life threatening uh, twice okay uh, uh, probably uh, uh, see what happens you do not trust more than one animal okay, okay. that animal you should trust is the tiger so okay. what happened somebody convinced me to ride on an elephant to photograph a tiger okay and uh, the tiger was with cub so that we didn't know at that time we came to know that the cubs have been delivered so when the elephant moved slightly to the grass the tiger charged on us and i thought that is it the tiger was one uh, feet away from my leg it could have taken my leg easily i i realized that but she stopped so she was only protecting her cubs so that is a life threatening episode number 1 the other life threatening episode number 2 is i was photographing great hornbill in uh, dandeli here and that cannot say it is life threatening i was on foot with the forest guy and the tiger suddenly came on foot so okay. it uh, looked at me it snarled and uh, he said don't raise your camera he said just drop i i don't have a photograph of that i said no best images are with the eyes so i just uh, uh, let the uh, le- before i could raise it the tiger got was more scared than me it ran away it literally ran away but that is in here where i work 50 kilometers from here and Wait. closest is uh, 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 about 3 uh, or 4 feet that's it i have uh, the with the cubs right the one i put yeah. with the cubs. yeah yeah uh, she actually came and posed for me i have okay. a video but it's we cannot play it here the okay. tigress uh, was sitting in the bush so i jokingly say it would be wonderful if she came in front of me with the cubs so what she did she came and sat right in front of me in the jeep so w- when you are uh, go when there is a tiger you should never approach it towards but if it approaches you it's all right okay uh, but, uh, no, nobody was there yeah and i have come 4 feet 5 feet so many times have uh, no problem pretty close encounters uh, last, question. last question from me Uh, as i look at your insta the first word that you chose to describe yourself before photographer is that of a quizzer no mm. i i have a uh, you know <laughs> i i couldn't refrain but ask uh, about that aspect and also you mentioned your history national box. level okay national, national level and uh, okay. plenty of quizzes okay general knowledge okay. general knowledge also me okay okay sir uh, uh, mm. in the chat box i see that uh, Dr. Puneet had uh, uh, spotted the white-eyed buzzard. So Puneet white sir, white-eyed buzzard. Sorry, white-eyed buzzard. Yeah, white-eyed buzzard. So Puneet mm-hmm. sir, uh, your comments, please. No, I think he's he told a fantastic story. It's so I I so identify with everything that he said, and I loved his way of uh, you know trying to connect up with the what the image he's saying and the story he's telling, uh, and how it could mean different things to different people. So I think. Uh, uh, a lot of messages in this uh, in these musings i mean you know one is we can do it anywhere even if you have less time you can do it uh, and you can hone your skills you can uh, show off uh, you can do it for yourself so i think all those variety i love watching all the images of course okay thank you sir i also see if you uh, notes from uh, dr jerin are you there you would you want to ask something dr jerin Yeah, Sh- 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 Shafiq Jerin is working in my office, and he's a very passionate wildlife photographer. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Shafiq, can I ask something? Yes, yes, sir. Please, please go. <laughs> Just as an additional question to what you have been asking, uh, sir, sir, that he has he has an eclavia. and uh, i just want to know how long it took for him to evolve into the kind of a photographer with the beautiful photos he's taking now from an amateur beginner how how long does it take for somebody 30, to do that level 37 years <laughs> <laughs> and still learning still learning still okay learning. what happened no this uh, i used to only post on uh, whatsapp and then it got hacked as usual my photo now i'm putting on whatsapp status my images and now slowly the i had a patient who i operated and i asked him what you are doing he said i'm a instagram instagram influencer so i said is there a job then my post graduates were much younger than me they said it is sir it is then uh, i said uh, then i asked him how do i get my people to see my photos he said make instagram reels so i am now learning how to make those reels and whether it's coming out well or not i don't know but uh, <laughs> but uh, i'm trying to evolve trying to fit into the new people uh, the new generation generation z's uh, uh, liking 
Uh, now the forum is for uh, uh, all the uh, members to ask directly to our speaker. Anybody wants to ask anything? Uh, now is the time. Please unmute yourself and ask. Just one more question, Shafiq. Yes, yes, sir. Shafiq, one more, just one more question. Yes, sir. Please, please, please go ahead. Go ahead, sir. Question from Madhu or from the chat box? No, I, I'm, I just was asking uh, does he enjoy taking photographs? Use mobiles. Yeah. With with my mobile? Uh, do you extend your skill to clinical photography as well? Yes, yes. I have a huge collection of that also. I do have the uh, I do take clinical photographs. Uh, and we have uh, we do record our videos. See, uh, uh, somebody told me the new new project is uh, how to take a clinical video is uh, we have to script it actually. We have to script uh, what we are going to do like a movie script and then only we should take it. My uh, vice chancellor is a surgeon, plastic surgeon, Dr. Nirajan Kumar. So he, uh, he is my uh, mentor in photography. Like you said, uh, not really a level, a little bit contribution is there from that sort of encouragement is there rather. So he has, he has said the way to video uh, clinical photographs is you have to... Uh, you have to plan it. Unlike, it just naturally should not happen. You should plan it. He being a plastic surgeon, I think uh, plastic surgeon uh, surgery people, they photograph a lot of their stuff. They script it. We are supposed to script it. So from clinical photographs, I'm going on to clinical videos now. I do take from the cell phone. Somebody asked, no? Yeah. I do have a huge collection of uh, mobile phones. Mobile uh, cellular pictures. But not wildlife. Not wildlife. Yeah, we have just five minutes to go, so I, uh, I think, Bouncer? I, I, yeah, I think uh, uh, I too some passion regarding clinical photography, not wildlife. Uh, I will not reach anywhere near Srinivas. Uh, I learned it from Professor Pierre Thomas, plastic surgery, surgery professor. And every patient he used to take clinical photography in the morning session. First thing to do was photography by him. And he used to keep a, a screen and tape. And then he used to have an SLR camera. So from him, I learned something. And then uh, with a person's help, I have learned SLR camera. And all my uh, photos, clinical photos in my book is taken by me only, my personal collection. So I too have a very good collection maybe more than 1,000. I've included only maybe 100 or 150 in my book. So that is clinical photography a lot. Not like Srini was. I enjoyed his talk. It, is, it was a fantastic talk. He's a good teacher also. I used to enjoy his classes uh, in uh, uh, Manipal CMEs and maybe sometimes Manglur CMEs. He, he has got a sense of humor also. I, so I used to enjoy his classes also. Fantastic talk, sir. Very nice. Okay. Sandor, sir, uh, any comments, sir? Nothing, nothing in particular. Okay. I... Srijan, Srijan, sir, uh, for the nothing closing okay. comments before before we go on to Madhu, sir, for the vote of thanks. Srijan, sir. Okay. Uh, Priya, would you like to talk something? Your teacher has been talking for the last 40 minutes. I think I went offline or he went offline. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I think Priya is not coming up. So it was a short, simple, very informative and a wonderful uh, session with excellent photographs. And, Hello. Uh, yeah, yeah, Priya is here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Sorry, I was uh, finding some difficulty in getting the unmute button. No problem. Um, I was uh, fortunate enough to study under uh, Paisal during my MBBS years from 2010 to 2015. It's been really amazing uh, getting in touch with him again with his work in the field of photography. And uh, honestly speaking, even I have seen most of his uh, tiger photographs in the social media websites and uh, seeing the wide range of his collection has even blown my mind away. And um, Sir's uh, work with his quizzes has also always been exemplary. I remember participating in them every year during and winning my all of them. years. 
and winning all of them. <laughs> I think Priya Priya never lost a quiz, na? Uh, so one year I came second, sir. Yeah, Other yeah, than I that... remember, but all the five years uh, intern, yes, you sir. Won it, everything, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. I did, sir. And you're the only one who dared fun uh, make fun of me. <laughs> what my fun? <laughs> Am I right? I suppose so, sir. No, no, it, it's not supposed so. It's a fact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Jokes apart. Uh, jokes. So I'm really grateful to Shreeja and sir for letting me know about this talk, which was there today, and I'm. Uh, Fortunate to be meeting so many other teachers again today, sir. Uh, Rajan, sir. Uh, Santosh, sir. Um, then uh, Madhu, sir's talk I've attended, though I'm sure, uh, like, I don't think he knows me, but I've attended one of his uh, talks for all the PGs. Uh, same with Dayanand Babu, sir. And uh, Gopi, sir, also. I'm so happy to see him again today, as well as uh, other uh, surgery PGs who are all here today. Thank you so much, sir. And it was a fantastic session and it's really inspirational as well, sir, as uh, I too have a passion in photography, sir. And I think I, I will be contacting you with, for further notes and pointers and guidance, sir. Yeah, Bhai, sir, she's also carrying your legacy because she used to take wonderful photographs of the college, our college and the clock tower. And I've, I've used her photographs in many uh, situations. Now that she's a plastic surgeon. <laughs> they are expected to, uh, I think, log everything, what they uh, video log and every, now they are expected to uh, make a do video dozier, I think. Mm -hmm. So this, yes, uh, this uh, now even the, probably, I don't know uh, what I heard from uh, some of my colleagues is that uh, even surgery, what video uh, log, video, uh, 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 what we call the log books are more in vogue now, where we are actually supposed to maintain a video of the surgeries we have done. Just uh, saying that we had this, done the surgery and getting signed is not enough. We have to actually video that and then uh, put it on. So, yeah. Dr. Punidhar's uh, photographs I've seen on uh, Konmarega Karurpati. Is it the same one? S same yeah. person? Yes, 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 sir. That, that's a okay. bit of nepotism, though. <laughs> no. No. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. We used to, uh, he used to post photographs and we have lovely photographs in. Uh, Facebook and uh, he is the one who is going to deliver the talk next time that is next week Wednesday and yeah. it's, it's, life is an echo all comes back that's a topic which uh, Punidhar is uh, sir is going to talk next uh, next Wednesday 9 p.m and I acknowledge the presence of two great photographers Jarin who is working in my office and Sapna from Bangalore and uh, another artist our PG Robbins and uh, uh, Captain Manoj, who is working in uh, Indian Airlines, probably he also will be talking in our session in the coming coming days. So nothing more to add. Thank you very much, uh, Pai, sir. It was a wonderful session, excellent photographs, and would like to see more and more photographs from you. And for the official water tanks, I welcome uh, Dr. Madhu, the Secretary of the Association of Surgeons of India, Kerala chapter. Please go ahead, Madhu. Um Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes. For the, vote, for the customary vote of thanks. But before that, let me, uh, I can just understand how happy Puneet sir is looking at the pictures and, and uh, his face was a reflection of how happy he was Sajan in the session. Thank you, Puneet sir, for joining for the session. And I'm so happy that you would be coming on this particular forum next week. And uh, I, from what Sajan sir just now said, there are so many other uh, people who are joined and because of the passion for photography. And uh, as usual, Srinivas, sir, it was a great talk and the pictures were amazing. And and, and you let us know what is the difference between a picture and an image and, and then the, the story behind each picture and how, how, how much passionate you are about behind uh, to, under, to let us know the story behind each of the pictures or the photographs that you showed us. So uh, thank you so much, sir, for coming on this forum and sharing your images, your uh, ideas to us. And I also take this opportunity to thank all those who are logged in uh, to uh, listen to this talk. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week, Wednesday, same time, with Puneet sir, with a good uh, presentation. And thank you so much and goodbye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you to the association. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Good night. We can log out, no, sir? No? no. I mean